Hey everyone, welcome back to Film Prodigy. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel and also leave a like on the video. Now let's get started. 49-year-old Lisa was bedridden and weighed about 740 pounds when we first met her in season 6. Her daughter Danielle and boyfriend Herbert had to do everything for her and when Danielle then found maggots in her mother's leg, it seemed like Lisa was finally realizing how bad things were. She contacted Dr. Now who told her that she needed to make changes right away or she wouldn't survive the year. However, Lisa struggled a lot and the surgeon continued to feel like she didn't even try, which caused Lisa to have a meltdown and screaming fit. Herbert kept sneaking food into the hospital and despite psychotherapy and a nutritionist coming to her home, Lisa didn't change her eating habits and just kept saying that she couldn't control herself. When Doctor Now accused her of lying, she gave quite a dramatic performance, eventually telling him that she wanted to die. If I had my way, do you know where I'd be? Where is that? I'd been done blow my brains out months ago. This prompted the hospital to do a full psychiatric evaluation on her, only to find that she had just tried to manipulate them again, which got her kicked off the program. Lisa eventually managed to turn things around and get surgery on her own. She lost 200 pounds and finally stood up on her own again, but then sadly passed away in August 2018 due to pre-existing conditions. Season 4's Gideon started his weight loss journey at 650 pounds and had to rely on his wife Kayla and their son Johnny to take care of him. Though Gideon was very motivated and his weight loss was steady, he struggled a lot post-surgery. Having food as his coping mechanism taken away from him, Gideon became depressed. Thanks to therapy, he got through his tough time, however, and by the end of the episode, he was down 429 pounds. He continued losing weight even after filming his episode had wrapped, and things got even better when he and his wife Kayla welcomed their baby girl, Frankie, in September 2017. However, in early 2019, Gideon was hospitalized after collapsing at his workplace, and for the first few days of his stay at the hospital, doctors had a hard time figuring out what was bothering him. Evidence of internal bleeding led to more concern, and according to Kayla's update on Facebook, things were made even worse by the fact that the hospital staff was overworked. Neither Kayla nor Gideon have since revealed the exact cause of his hospitalization, with Kayla only saying that an EKG found that nothing was wrong with Gideon's heart, but he was back home a couple of months later, and judging by recent social media posts, he seems to be in good health, enjoying life together with his family. Texas native Liv Evans had been bedridden for more than a decade and suffered from severe lymphedema on her legs when she appeared on My 600 Pound Life. Although she managed to lose more than 350 pounds, nearly half of her body weight, she gained almost 50 pounds back when she went home. Evans was later readmitted to the hospital to be monitored again, where she was able to later lose weight to get surgery. At the end of the episode, TLC updated viewers about Liz's progress, saying that she had started seeing a therapist and was taking a few steps in the right direction. However, in an update episode, we found out that Liz was still struggling with the trauma of being molested by a family friend at the age of six, and that old fears were threatening her progress. Since she isn't on social media, it is hard to say whether Liz Evans managed to stay on track or ultimately went back to her old ways again. In the beginning of her episode, 44-year-old Joyce hadn't filled up the house in years and was in such bad health that she needed home health care 24-7. According to her, she had reached a point where all she was living for was food. With, with a weight of 758 pounds at the height of just 4'11", Joyce's body was close to giving out. So Dr. Now decided to keep her in the hospital on a controlled diet for a while. However, when she was eventually sent home to show that she would be able to lose weight on her own, Joyce gained 58 pounds. Hoping that dealing with her troubled past would help Joyce overcome the issues that drove her to eat, Dr. Nas set her up for psychotherapy, but unfortunately his patient continued to gain weight. Despite being given her last chance, Joyce failed to meet the demands again. Feeling like she had tried her best, Joyce was convinced that Dr. Nas' program had failed her, but based on the other stories on our list, it looks like Joyce was the one who failed the program. Like so many patients on the show, Kelly Mason had started gaining weight as a child following a traumatic experience. Now 41 years old, Kelly was so heavy that she could barely move around, yet she decided to make the long and strenuous trip to Houston, Texas to ask Dr. Now for help. During her appointment, we learned that Kelly weighed an unbelievable 725 pounds and had a multitude of health issues, including high blood pressure, a blood clot in her leg, type 2 diabetes, arthritis, thyroid problems, reflux, and heart problems. It was obvious that she needed help immediately, and after Dr. Now admitted Kelly to the hospital, she quickly started losing weight. Soon she was approved for surgery and was on the right track when she suddenly suffered a heart attack earlier this year and passed away in her sleep, becoming only the second patient on the show to die during filming. That's all the time we have for today's video, guys. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you all next time.